So how many miles can you go on a full tank of gas on a Rebel 500? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for checking out the video. So far, it's been three months since I got my motorcycle license and my new Rebel 500. And as a new rider, I make sure to top off the tank, you know, as soon as I hit that last marker on the fuel gauge, just to make sure I don't run out of gas. But I know there's probably, you know, many more miles left in the tank. So I've been wondering just how many miles can you go on a full tank and how much is actually left um, in the tank when you get near that empty. So the Rebel 500 comes with a 2.96 gallon tank. Why not just make it three? And according to Honda, this bike gets 67 miles per gallon. But we all know those numbers are under ideal conditions, probably on a closed course, uh, long straightaway, light throttle, highway driving, etc. What kind of mileage am I actually seeing? Well, let's discuss that. Lately, most of the driving I've been doing would be considered city driving. Uh, due to COVID, I've been working from home two days a week and going into the office three days a week. So I would love to take the bike each of those days that I commute in, but lately it's actually been raining on the days that I have to go into work, at least most of the days. So I've been taking the car in on those days, but I am managing to get at least one day a week in, you know, commuting to work on the motorcycle. And the commute is, it's pretty steady highway driving, 30 miles each way. Uh, the rest of the mileage that I put on the bike is me, you know, cruising around town, you know, going on short trips, running errands, hanging out with my friends, etc. And I'm not that light on the throttle. Ever since I put on the new exhaust, which you can check out that video over here, I like to hear the sound of the engine and I tend to, you know, rev it every now and then, especially, you know, who doesn't rev it when you're going through a tunnel. Uh, also, I tend to do a little bit of quicker starts. And when I'm shifting, I'll tend to, you know, hold the, or wind it out a little bit more before I uh, switch to the next gear. So I filled up my tank, reset the odometer, and I drove until that last indicator started blinking. As soon as it did, I noted I'd put on 122 miles since the full tank, and the onboard miles per gallon was saying I was averaging about 52.3. So if the manual says you have approximately 0.58 gallons left when the gauge starts blinking, and I was averaging 52.3 miles per gallon, then I should have been able to drive another 30 until the tank was completely empty. So 122 miles driven already, and the 30.3 that are supposedly left, one tank should yield me about 152.3 gallons from full to empty. So as soon as that gauge started blinking, I pulled into the first gas station I saw, which was less than a half a mile away, and I recorded my numbers. So after filling the tank, it took 2.03 gallons to refill the tank. So 2.9 gallon full tank minus the 2.03 gallons I used means I actually had 8.87 gallons left in the tank, which is a little more than the 0.58 that the manual states. So theoretically, if my miles per gallon was 52.3, multiply that by the 8.7 I had left, then I should have had 45.5 miles left to go, which means a tank really would give me, you know, 122 miles plus the 45.5 would be 167.5 miles if I was actually averaging 52.3 miles per gallon according to the computer. But of course, that's going from a full to dead empty tank, which you don't want to be in the habit of doing. And I always reset my trip odometer after each time I fill up, just so I have a good idea of how many miles I've done. And when I'm getting usually around 120 miles in, I like to fill up you know, just to be safe. But you know, at least this way, you know, if you cruise around and you, you get to that blinking empty light, at least you know, now you know about how much more gas you have in the tank and how much more you can go. You don't have to you know, panic. But you should, of course, stop off as soon as you can. But there is still you know, more fuel in the tank and more miles left to go. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. And since we're talking about miles in this episode, we hit a milestone. Uh, not only have I had just over 800 miles on the new bike as a new rider, but we also hit just over 800 subscribers on the channel. Actually, I think we're at 801. So I want to take the time to thank everyone who's watched the videos and subscribed. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, hit subscribe button and you know check out more of the videos and if you have any questions or comments feel free to comment below i read and respond to all comments you know as quickly as possible and i'd love to hear your take and what you're getting on your bikes as far as mile per gallons even if it's not a honda rebel 500 it could be a ninja it could be a harley whatever it's just kind of cool to see what other people are getting on their bikes so you know once again thanks around for well thanks for sticking around and stay tuned for the next video which hopefully will be up sometime next week or later in the week, I've got some upgrades coming in for the bike. They're actually on order. They should be here within a day or two. And we'll uh, post that video hopefully within a week. Thanks again, everyone, and have a great day.